Hi, how are you everybody here? So here's a Yoda. And here's a finger. Here's a cap too. You might think if I'm here to sell those stuff. No, it's not. Today I'm here to talk about a specific technology that makes those items. And as you, might have, as you might have guessed, that is 3D printing. My name is Park kyung -yeol. In English, call me David. Uh, currently, I'm a writer for 3D printing industry, a global 3D printing news media. At the same time, I'm the deputy director of 3D printing economic research center at Korea Maritime and Ocean University. I said I'm a writer, so what I usually do is to meet people who are involved in 3D printing industry. And I interview them. After I interview them, I write about them. So that is one of the big benefits that 3D print has brought to us. I want to introduce you more benefits of 3D printer. But before that, let me briefly explain the technology itself. If you look at there, there's a 3D printer working, operating fully. And 3D printing is a process of making a three-dimensional object on a machine 3D printer. Think of a 2D uh, ink printer at your home. Ink printer, they use ink. 3D printer, they use materials such as plastic, ceramic, or metals. Materials that is responsive to heat. And ink printer, is, it is being printed by one layer. But 3D printer, it prints something layer by layer by layer so that it becomes three-dimensional. Actually, the concept of 3D printing was conceived in 1983 by an engineer named Chuck Hall. But that time, the technology stuff was very raw stage. There were not enough technology and were not enough technologies to support the 3D printing. And also, there were some patent issues involved with 3D printer. So it has been pretty recent that the 3D printer got popular. So even though the technology itself is quite old, I'd say 3D printing is on its early stage of development. And here's another person I met for my interview. The gentleman explained his uh, fashion item to the general public. His name is Song Gibo, and in a fashion brand fair, he recently introduced his fashion brand called Creek. What Creek does is to make wearable items using 3D printer, like this. So basically, what it does is to just buy the normal cap, and also he prints accessories that he can attach to the cap, and then he designed his cap the way, he, the way he wants. He was a former fashion designer, and he found out the possibility of 3D printer and tried to combine the technology to the fashion. So next month, he's officially launching the uh, brand and plan to make profit out of it. So 3D printer gave him another business opportunity. And 3D printer can make a special gift for you. I met a professor in Dongguk University. And what he does is to make a little thin lamp, a special lamp that uh, with your picture on it. So if you look at the slide, that's the image of, image of the print when it right came out of the 3D printer. But if you add light, it becomes very special. Down there, those two pictures, that lamp is the, what the professor made for me. I put my family picture there, and yeah, I like it. What about Iron Man? In Korea, there's a maker who does make Iron Man using 3D printer. His name is Kim Dong Hyun, and he works for a gaming company in Korea. See, so far he's got two Iron Mans. Each one, it took him a full year to make it. What about industrial sector? In industrial sector, 3D printer also has a lot of applicable uses. For example, in uh, there was a project called 3D Printing in Zero Gravity Technology Demonstration Project. There was a collaboration between NASA and a startup company in California. And what they did is to bring 3D printer to the space. So when astronauts go, go on their journey, they bring 3D printer on their spaceship. And during their journey, they successfully 3D printed 21 items in space and came back to the Earth safe and sound. 
how promising that is. Think that in the future, we are going to the Mars to explore new land. Would you bring all the possibly needing spare parts? We don't know which part of the spaceship is going to break down. So what we can do is to bring the printer with a whole lot of materials. And whatever, whenever you need it, you need it, you can just print on the spot, on demand. So all those things that I talked about 3D printer, why am I so excited about it? I believe that 3D printer can be just something that is more than just a technology. I believe the technology 3D printing is on the verge of becoming a platform. A platform where teachers, students, entrepreneurs, makers, doctors, lawyers, all those people, they come together to create something big, something in forms of culture and movement. And I think that movement is going to change our fundamental thinking process. Like the first time the PC, or the internet came out to the world. If you, look at, if you look at the slide, that progress only has been made in 34 years. In 34 years, the capability of technology has grown exponentially. But the cost of technology has reduced rapidly. Look at this too. In 2005, the SD card had 128 megabyte. Only in nine years, it became 128 gigabyte. In nine years, it became 10, 000, 10, 000, 1,000 times larger. What those two slides are strongly implying is that the progress of technology, the technology itself is progressing the faster, faster, and faster with each passing day and nobody really knows where it's going. I can say for sure that the technology 3D printing is coming to us. It's coming to us, affecting every corner of our life. Think that there's a surfer surfing on the ocean, and there's a huge wave coming to the surfer. If surfer is not ready, then the huge wave is going to hit the surfer, and the surfer is likely to get lost. But what if the surfer is ready? And he knows that the surfer does not have control over the big wave. But at least when the huge wave hits the surfer, he can direct himself where he's going. And I think that's what I, what I want to say today. Let's be ready for what's coming to us. As Mark Max said, the future belongs to those who prepare for it. Thank you.